Good morning lovelies, Zoe Two Dots here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you and today let's talk a few things in the most recent Pokemon conference announcement that happened about like, you know, 15 minutes ago now. It's just wrapped up. You might be noticing in-game in Pokemon Go right now there are sleeping Snorlaxes popping all over the map. And this is in part to start promoting um, a new concept that uh, Pokemon, uh, Nintendo and Niantic are working on together being the Pokemon Plus Plus or Pokemon Go Plus Plus with um, the game concept for Pokemon Sleep. Uh, a new incentive to kind of like encourage and incentivize players to get better sleep habits, which is really interesting. So we're gonna talk about that while also getting into this package here. So thank you, Jess and Erin for your package. I have no idea what's in here. I mean, there's like an itemized, you know, what is actually physically in here, but I don't know what's in here. So let's have a look. So the concept for Pokemon Sleep is kind of around encouraging these extra healthy behaviors. So Pokemon Go successfully got like a billion of us up off our bums and walking around um, being, you know, basically turning walking and walking activity into gameplay. Uh, so they mentioned in the conference here that they want to turn uh, sleeping into gameplay as well. Kind of like, in, you know, encouraging people to have healthier habits, which I'm really curious about. And it ties in with this Pokemon Go Plus Plus, great name, Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. So it's kind of like a redesign of the Pokemon Go Plus with the added ability to track sleep. So by the looks of it here in this promotional kind of shot, it would be lying on us next to the bed, tracking our sleep and then rewarding us for, you know, having X hours night's sleep, maybe having certain restful sleep or whatever it might be. And then rewarding us in game for that. Oh, that is so cute. Good eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is so adorable. Uh, hey Zoe, two fellow graphic designers who love your videos. One of us has been a Pokemon trainer since Red and Blue. Jess and the other has taken the fast track to becoming a fully fledged Pokemon lover in the last few years. Erin, fan channel through Nick's International Deck series. We've been addicted ever since. Ah, love your style and energy. We failed to get GoFest tickets for the third year in a row. No, really hope to meet you someday in person. Just for fun, we blend our own teas in this cool uh, site called Adagio Teas. Send you a pouch of loose leaf that we created based on the teas you like. Oh, you legend. That's really cool. From your good eggs, Jess and Erin. Oh my goodness. P.S. Our good egg shirts totally brought the shiny luck. Oh my God, that is so adorable. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. Look at how cute this is. Oh. That's fantastic. All of my favorite babies. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Erin and Jess. Oh my goodness. There's like, woohoo! look at this. Custom mug. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Ah, uh, <laughs> Zoe T dots. Yes. Oh my God. Earl Grey, Lavender, Vanilla and Tiger Eye. Yo, that is really cool to try some of this like now. <laughs> Okay, let's try this bad boy. Ooh. Oh, she nice. Sold. 10 out of 10. Approved. Thank you so much. This is so good. Erin and Jess, thank you so, so much. Like, this is like such a very sweet gift. This is amazing. Perhaps this new calming tea could help with my sleep schedule and the Go Plus Plus, tracking my sleep and somehow incentivizing that in game. It's a really curious concept. Um, I suppose in the way that we can walk with our buddies to earn candy, perhaps if we sleep next to our buddy, we might earn candies or other in-game rewards like that. Maybe if you know, you get your full eight hours of rest, you get some charge TMs, who knows? There's so many different ways this could play out in the game. It's a really curious concept in my mind. For the in-game stuff at the moment with the Snorlaxes popping in Pokemon Go, however, uh, if you do want to photograph the Snorlax while it is in like, you know, the sleep position, you will have to do it while you're in the encounter. So you can't catch it and then go into Go Snapshot because it'll be standing up after that. If you want to photograph it lying down, we're back to the OG methods of photographing it during the encounter. So keep in mind, this can always result in the Pokemon uh, disappearing if it does decent spawn in this photo mode. Um, by the looks of it, the spawns seem to be lasting. They're not like a, a five minute spawn or anything like that. Like the one I had in my house was here for at least 30 minutes. So fingers crossed the majority are like that. You get the chance to photograph them. But once you have caught it, it will be standing upright again. So yeah, we're back to the old shrubbery, tapping on the shrub and having it jump. 
a thousand feet ahead, which is really annoying. I try to take a photo of one on the bed, but um, it's kind of hard to place if you don't have, you know, the world's largest bedroom. You can't get far enough away to place it on the bed. So possibly uh, photographing this one with AR Plus off in just regular um, AR mode might be the best. Also mentioned in the Pokemon conference was Pokemon Home, which is kind of like Pokemon Bank 2.0. If you've ever used Pokemon Bank before, or even if you don't know what it is, Pokemon Bank is pretty much a service to get Pokemon from your DS and 3DS games onto kind of like a storage cloud. So if you wanted to, you know, you can't trade between Pokemon Black and Pokemon X because those two games aren't compatible, but you could put your Pokemon from Pokemon Black onto the Pokemon Bank and then bring them across into Pokemon X. So say that really special Pikachu you've had since childhood, you could be taking that all the way along through the new games and things with you. Since the Nintendo Switch has come out, there's been no sort of functionality with the Switch and the Pokemon Bank. So Pokemon Home is gonna be incorporating uh, everything from the DS, 3DS, you know, X and Y, uh, Sword and Shield, Let's Go, and Pokemon Go to the Pokemon Bank. And it looks like we can put these, sorry, to Pokemon Home. So you can put Pokemon from all of these devices and games into Pokemon Home. And then from the graphic that they provided during the conference, it seems like we can only take them out of home onto Sword and Shield. I'm gonna wait and see until there's th more things confirmed for that. Um, they also mentioned in the, in the conference as well that it is gonna be another place for social interactivity. So for people to come together in Pokemon Home. So that's really interesting as well. They also announced another mobile game that's gonna be coming out. Uh, it seems to be like a battle driven, like battle kind of story RPG kind of game. Again, we'll have to wait to hear a bit more on that. And they also announced that the Pokemon shirts the, um, these awesome, like, oh, if you haven't seen these before, the Pokemon shirts line, I know I've mentioned it in previous news videos, but they were previously only available from a Japanese website and ordered within Japan and some Asian countries, some other Asian countries rather, but they're gonna be expanding to Northern America and to Europe, which is awesome. Sadly, that's not including Australia. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna have to try and order it to one of my friend's houses and get them to send one to me. Thank you, William, this is very helpful. But uh, good news for you guys, North America and uh, Europe, Pokemon shirts, they're so like, they're, I know a lot of people have been saying like, oh, they're so expensive, blah, blah. But I'm like, it's a fully customizable business shirt. You can customize that you want the pocket print to be inverted or a different color or a different pattern, the color of the buttons, the cuffs, like all of that for a hundred bucks is insane. Like if you want to buy like an actual business shirt and I'm not saying tarot cash, we're, we're, a bit, we're thinking a bit fancier than tarot cash, but like that's easily a hundred bucks just straight out of the store with no customization, no sizing options like that. So in my mind, that's, that's pretty darn good. And I, I want one, I want one. <laughs> so yeah, Pokemon shirts kind of expanding where they're available. They also announced a new Pokemon center that is going to be built in Shibuya Parko, a new shopping center that is kind of um, being built and launching in the fall of 2019. So I imagine that's going to be a little bit too late in the year to line up with the Yokosuka event uh, and the Asia Go Fest, which is, I mean, pretty, have they confirmed it yet? They pretty much like teased it on their Japanese website that Go Fest was going to be Japan, like in line with like, you know, the Pikachu outbreak and things like that. So, God, the lighting in here is just going nuts. It's so cloudy and windy today. So it's, I think, sadly going to be too late for it to launch in time for that. Uh, also, they mentioned a Nintendo Tokyo, Tokyo Nintendo. So I think currently the only Nintendo store really is the one in New York, if I'm speaking accurately. Uh, but there's no Nintendo store in Japan, which like is wild. Uh, so that's going to be in the same building as well in the Tokyo Parko building when that does launch. So that's definitely something I'd be keen to check out eventually in Japan. So yeah, that is your little sneaky update, your little bit of tea on Pokemon at the moment. That The conference was really, really cool. Really, really interesting. If you had the chance to go watch it back, be sure to do so. The Pokemon sleep concept, I think is the most interesting one. Um, of course, there's always like the, oh, that's weird, a company tracking my metadata of when I go to sleep and wake up. That's more information, you know, a company can have about me, potentially, if that's how it's gonna work, if they can collect that metadata, but, I think it's a really curious concept. I think it's gonna be really interesting as well for maybe children who have trouble sleeping or parents who have trouble getting their kids to bed. If sleep is now a game where it's like, hey, if you go to bed by 7.30, we put your little Pokemon Plus down here on your bed. And you know, when you wake up, if you've been, you know, a good little Timmy and you got all your sleep, you're gonna get something in the game for being a good little sleeper. Like that's pretty fantastic if it can work that way. If it incentivizes kids into positive behaviors and things like that at a young age too. I know me for one, I need to be a bit, I mean, I, I like sleep. I usually go to bed pretty early and stuff, but 
uh, to keep that consistency and incentivizing that consistency and healthy behavior. It's really interesting. So we'll see where that ends up. That's not happening or that's not launching or anything until 2020. So in development as concept now uh, for release next year. So yeah, we'll see how it ends up. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the Pokemon Sleep, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus and the Pokemon Home? Those are the main things. I think the home, big tick, happy days. It was kind of, you know, needed to happen. Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Also, sorry, before I forget, the Snorlax that is spawning in game in Pokemon Go, they will know Yawn as a fast move. So exclusive, limited time only, new fast move on Snorlax being Yawn. Apparently, if you do evolve Munchlax now, your, your Snorlax that evolved from the Munchlax will have Yawn as well. So if you really want, you know, a particularly good IV one, maybe look into that. Jesus, William. But yes, Yawn, which also makes me a bit hopeful, but maybe status effects? Different status effects could be coming soon, hopefully in the game with, you know, Slack Off uh, Community Day coming up soon too. It being a Pokemon that has, or Slacking being a Pokemon that has Yawn as well. How you doing, mate? Perhaps sleep abilities, sleep status effects, things like that. Who knows? But yeah, that's everything. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and merch. Look at this, look at this snuggly goodness. It's so like polar fleecy lined, yum, thank you. Is in the description as well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.